I am getting ready to send an email to my doctor. I have an appointment with my primary care provider on Wednesday. So I figure if I give her Monday and Tuesday, maybe she'll have a chance to actually look at my medical record before my appointment. So like the half a dozen things that I really need to know are not just brushed off for another time because that happens a lot. Yeah. And it kind of sucks because there's things that are going on that have not been addressed by any of my doctors in years because they always say, we can only address one thing, one or two things at each appointment. Okay, but when you have a list that's like this long because your body is slowly falling apart because of your genetic conditions, um, one or two items per appointment is not going to cut it. No sirree, bub. Um, I still have stuff on there from like over a year ago because nobody has addressed it. Like I have to take diuretics several times a day and this has been going on for several months, um, because I have pitting edema in my legs, but I have peeling skin on my lips. This is what my primary care provider had confused in an email where I spelled out lips and I spelled out legs. It resulted in her having a nurse manager call me and tell me that I can put lotion on my legs more than once a day and it might not be a good idea to put chapstick on the open sores on my legs. Gee. I'm in my 40s and I hold a master's degree. I think with everything at my disposal, I think I would refrain from putting something like chapstick on my legs, you know? Oy vey, oy vey. I am not an idiot and I really wish that there were less idiots in the world so maybe I wouldn't have to be treated as one. I wouldn't have to be treated as, like, the lowest common denominator. Because mm. it just gets old. And then I feel like I'm being on the defensive because, oh, yeah, silly me, I just want my health care that I served for over a decade on active duty for. But we'll see what gets addressed. One of the questions I have to ask her because I don't think she knows is I'm having surgery in like less than two weeks. I need to know which of my many medications I need to wean down off of so I just don't stop at cold turkey before my surgery. You know, it's like things like this, like the helpful things I don't have for my healthcare providers, which is really sad, but. That's why I'm putting together an email so at least I'll have an electronic record of times where my doctor has blown me off. And that list is just getting longer and longer and longer and longer and longer. So, yeah, if you're a doctor, don't blow off your patients. If you're also a doctor um, and you don't feel competent or confident in treating somebody with several rare conditions, rare rarely diagnosed um please refer me to somebody else it's not that hard when I was going through my stuff for my master's degree it's in um uh, clinical psychology with an a specialty in applied research because that's what I wanted to do before my body did this. Um, so yeah, I know the importance about referring a patient or client to somebody else who's more qualified or if you just don't drive with that patient, you know, you can refer them elsewhere. Yeah. 
take that to heart, VA doctors, you know. Um, I didn't ask for these conditions. You know, I didn't ask for conditions that often get blown off by healthcare providers. I didn't ask for any of this stuff. But it's your responsibility to help me. Okay, doctors? Are we on the same page? I hope so. Now, time to get to that email. I hope you guys all have a great week. And take care of yourselves. And be nice to each other. Don't be a dick. And... May Ukraine prevail. So I'll see you.